So pretty much everybody has heard about the RTX 3080 launch, and this is going to include AMD. We have some really pertinent information that just came out today. I think it's from another YouTube channel of Red Gaming Tech. They posted what appears to be a letter that was sent out to the AMD partners, has some really important stuff on how the actual launch is going to go. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you like content like this, and let's get right into the video. So it's certainly no surprise that the RTX 3080 launch has been a very large spectacle. Basically, everybody wants it, nobody has it. And with AMD, two major product launches coming up very soon. October 28th, they're gonna be announcing their RDNA 2 Big Navi GPUs. And of course, Zen 3 was announced and it's gonna start shipping on November 5th. So AMD has seen all of the demand and the problems that Nvidia has gone through and they released this letter sort of showing what to expect for their partners and retailers and what we can expect as consumers if you're going to be looking to find any of these in stock. So the letter basically says at AMD we're committed to delivering world-class processors and graphics to enable the next generation of premium immersive computing. Basically just a little intro into what they want to do something very important here our top priority and this is in bold is to ensure gamers enthusiasts and creators can easily purchase our amd radeon rx 6000 series graphics cards and amd ryzen 5000 processors at launch and thereafter now this doesn't even have to be in bold we can pretty much see exactly what amd is saying they want their gpus and processors to be purchased by the consumer by the gamer they don't want to see it go to scalpers or to bots or to be bought up by farms or whatever else is going on and they make that abundantly clear of course they sent this out to their partners it's a good move for them because at least they're kind of saving themselves they can say oh we had the good intention in case something happens and the launch goes upside down like the nvidia launch does but at least it does give a little bit of insight into what they're thinking and it's certainly a letter to alert their partners if they haven't been paying attention to the rtx 3080 launch amd certainly wants to avoid that debacle as well and this letter and of course this is all speculation i don't know if this letter is 100 percent accurate but it seems like something that would make sense for them to say they go into very specific detail look at how interesting this is they say that they expect that some purchasers may initially try to buy large quantities of the new graphics cards and processors and resell them at a higher price in the secondary market. That's definitely very awesome to see them say that. So they're certainly aware that scalpers, much like with the RTX 3080, will be trying to buy these GPUs and CPUs initially at launch in order to sell them for a massive profit, therefore inconveniencing pretty much every consumer that actually wants to buy one at MSRP. And they even specifically mention bots that make high volume purchases and rapidly make everything sell out. We remember with the Nvidia launch, things were notify me and immediately to out of stock so it seems like AMD basically saw everything wrong everything that us as tech enthusiasts were talking about the Nvidia launch and they basically addressed it in this letter they even go on to specifically mention that they want to prevent site crashes unresponsive websites due to the unexpectedly high surges in traffic so this is also exactly what happened with the Nvidia launch it's almost like they took everything that happened and they're saying it here and of course we have to remember it's easy to write up a letter like this even I could do it and just speculate on what happened and promise that it's going to be better so while it's awesome that AMD is actually aware of all these issues and actually talking to their partners partners without their partners actually actively putting these measures in place the letter is just sort of words on a paper and it's not really going to get very far so i hope they can implement the things that we're going to talk about and they did have a list of actual things that could be implemented to make the process that much smoother and then amd basically makes a call to arms basically they say that together they want to get these products in the hands of specifically the gamers and enthusiasts. Of course, what AMD is trying to do here is just differentiate the focus of their business. Of course, if they sell a million units to like one single bot, as opposed to selling a million units to a million different gamers, to them, the bottom line is the same, at least if you talk about the initial sale, but those million gamers can go on to buy other AMD products in the future. They can be very brand loyal. They're going to be a lot happier while the one 
person that bought it as a bot is just doing it to resell it and they're not really going to care about the brand and amd is showing that they actually care about the people that buy their products trying to form a nice trusting relationship with the community rather than just trying to sell everything at whatever cost so what does amd suggest that their partners do well the first thing is going to be the bot detection and management basically using some type of real-time bot detection mechanism and different tools to see what's coming in what people are trying to buy and if it's going to be through a bot now this is a lot easier said than done just because it's probably very expensive to implement these sort of complicated systems and of course not every partner is going to be massive like uh, Newegg or Best Buy there probably are a lot of smaller partner companies as well that may not have the resources to be able to really put these in place but we can hope that at least the major partners where most of the people are going to be buying their GPUs and CPUs can actually learn from Nvidia and take AMD suggestion here in order to put some type of more intricate bot detection system in place at least if you stop them at the door just let them buy one or something like that it's not going to have as much of an impact as it would if you just let it be a complete free-for-all they also suggest using captcha um, basically to try to see if it's a human or a bot i mean we've all gone through this when we're trying to log into a website often it's frustrating often it seems pointless and the one time that we actually needed it with something like the rtx 3080 launch was nowhere to be seen. Even Nvidia has implemented this on their website. So of course it makes sense that AMD is also gonna suggest to their partners to implement some type of capture system. Now I'm sure there are ways to still get around this, but at least they may stop a lot more attempts at getting these GPUs. So any type of security measure that they can put in place is certainly welcomed. If it doesn't reduce everything to zero, at least it reduces it to a significant lower number. And of course, if you're not a bot, the best way to do it for a regular human is just a purchase limit. If Nvidia or AMD lets you buy 10 of a GPU, I'm sure a lot of people would if they were able to get it with thoughts of reselling it. So it certainly makes a lot of sense to limit the purchases to one. This is just a very simple measure that they can put in place in order to ensure that there's not a bot or a group of people buying multiple GPUs under one account. And the next one is gonna be one of my favorites. That's gonna be the reservation or queue system. Of course, we've talked about this plenty of times on the channel. EVGA has implemented a similar system where you have like an eight hour window after you sign up for an email notification. And of course, Apple has a great system when an Apple iPhone comes out. They don't say sold out. They just put you sort of further ahead in the queue and move your shipping date up. So I don't see why these GPU and CPU sellers, why they can't really do the same. It's actually fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Just have a queue system. These are technology companies after all. I don't think it's that difficult to implement. And at least it gives people an idea of when they can expect a product or at least that they're in some type of list. So if they're planning their build, they know that at least in the future, they'll be guaranteed something. And if we don't have a system like that, it's basically sort of just being out in the dark. You don't know when a stock is going to drop and it's just been a frustrating experience overall. So the EVGA system has worked out great. Hopefully what AMD recommends here to their partners is also taken up by them and it's something that they can put in place as well. And a few more interesting things that they mentioned is going to be manual order processing. Now I can understand in such a high volume launch day how having a manual order process could potentially delay a lot of orders. I mean, somebody has to actually sit there and be like, this guy's not a bot, this guy's not a bot. Oh, a human, let him through. So it could be a very time consuming process. Not to mention, probably the people that are trying to be scalpers and bots and buy multiple, they're probably gonna be very tricky. So imagine that person going through thousands in a day. They may have trouble actually differentiating what's real, what's not. So this one, I'm not too sure about. I prefer maybe the Q system or the other options mentioned before. Um, and then the next one is a limit reseller sales, basically business to business, you know, to maybe other small resellers. I guess they figure if they can keep it amongst the larger partners and resellers, they can at least have a little bit more control over the process. Because let's say these GPUs go to a smaller reseller, that reseller could mark it up. They can do many more things that a large reseller likely can't do. So I guess this is probably just a little bit of a quality control issue regarding basically the control of whatever resellers get and to what extent. And AMD can have influence over them. And then their last suggestion has to do with the inventory to cart allocation. Um, this I'm sure has to be organized better. Like we mentioned before, you would have add to cart and it would disappear or give you errors or the website would glitch. So I do hope they put a more useful and elegant solution to having sort of the inventory 
go to cart. Maybe it's only taking out when the customer submits the order, just like that they suggest. So hopefully they have a much better way to do it in a much less frustrating way. So hopefully a smoother checkout process that's more intuitive, faster, and less frustrating and gives people more of a fair chance is something that all of the retailers can put in place. So to summarize, it's very interesting to see basically everything that went wrong with the NVIDIA RTX launch. AMD sort of took notes on everything that was happening and they're basically right before their own launch saying, listen, this is likely going to happen again. We just saw it happen with the 3080, 3090. So when their GPUs are released and announced as well as the Zen 3 CPUs, they're most likely going to have a huge surge in demand. Most likely they won't have enough stock to keep up. So they're going to have to at least make sure the system is fair. So as many gamers as possible, get it in their hands because if it's sold out, but at least most of the people that got them were gamers and enthusiasts and the people that didn't were able to get on some type of queue system where they know in the future they'll be able to get something as well it's at least a step in the right direction and you're going to have a lot less unhappy and frustrated customers therefore continuing to build a better brand relationship i could see amd pulling a lot of market share away from nvidia if they can have a much smoother launch meaning less frustrating as well as actually having great stock i think the actual performance and specs this time even though it's weird to say this is going to be secondary even if like the rx 6000 the high-end gpu isn't as good as the 3080 but it's priced well and it's in stock i think it's going to outsell it just because of that mere fact that it's attainable it's weird to say usually we would say performance and value for the dollar is first but i think now actually being in stock is a pretty big indicator if somebody's going to buy a gpu or not at least for those people in the market of course this has created a big buying frenzy that probably is not really necessary but here we are demand is high we've had a weird year all around but at least it's good to see amd trying to address these issues nvidia has also tried to address their own launch issues so we're going to keep an eye on the zen 3 rx 6000 series as well as the nvidia rtx 3070 launches let's see if it goes any smoother if more people can get these gpus and at least we're gonna have a lot more happy gamers hopefully all right guys so i hope you enjoyed remember to subscribe for more content like this smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video